Chapter 10 Now these are the records of the generations of Shem, Ham, and Japheth, the sons of Noah, and sons were born to them after the flood. The sons of Japheth were Gomer, and Magog, and Madai, and Javan, and Tubal, and Meshesh, and Tiras. The sons of Gomer were Ashkenaz, and Riphath, and Togermah. The sons of Javan were Elisha, and Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodanim. From these the coastlands of the nations were separated into their lands, every one according to his language, according to their families, into their nations. The sons of Ham were Cush, and Mizraim, and Put, and Canaan. The sons of Cush were Seba, and Havilah, and Sabta, and Ramah, and Sabteca, and the sons of Ramah were Sheba and Dedan. Now Cush became the father of Nimrod. He became a mighty one on the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Therefore it is said, Like Nimrod, a mighty hunter before the Lord. The beginning of his kingdom was Babel, and Erech, and Akkad, and Kalna in the land of Shinar. From that land he went forth into Assyria, and built Nineveh, and Rehobothar, and Kala, and Rezin between Nineveh and Kala, that is, the great city. Mizraim became the father of Ludim, and Anamim, and Lehabim, and Naphtuhim, and Pathruzim, and Caslahim, from which came the Philistines, and Kaphtorim. Canaan became the father of Sidon, his firstborn, and Heth, and the Jebusite, and the Amorite, and the Girgashite, and the Hivite, and the Archite, and the Sinite, and the Arvadite, and the Zemurite, and the Hamathite, and afterwards the families of the Canaanite were spread abroad. The territory of the Canaanite extended from Sidon, as you go toward Gerar, as far as Gaza, as you go toward Sodom and Gomorrah, and Adma, and Zeboim, as far as Lasha. These are the sons of Ham, according to their families, according to their languages, by their lands, by their nations. Also to Shem, the father of all the children of Eber, and the older brother of Japheth, children were born. The sons of Shem were Elam, and Asher, and Arpashad, and Lud, and Aram. The sons of Aram were Uz, and Hul, and Gether, and Mash. Arpashad became the father of Shelah, and Shelah became the father of Eber. Two sons were born to Eber. The name of the one was Peleg, for in his days the earth was divided, and his brother's name was Joktan. Joktan became the father of Almadad, and Shelah, and hazer and Jera, and Hadarim, and Uzal, and Dikla, and Obal, and Abimiel, and Sheba, and Ophir, and Havilah, and Jobab. All these were the sons of Joktan. Now their settlement extended from Mesha as you go toward Sefer, the hill country of the east. These are the sons of Shem, according to their families, according to their languages, by their lands, according to their nations. These are the families of the sons of Noah, according to their genealogies, by their nations, and out of these the nations were separated on the earth after the flood.